Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela. Hope you guys are all doing great. I unexpectedly took a break last week and I am so behind on my filming schedule, but I am officially back, ready to film, ready to get some videos out. And I really just wanted my first video for this year to just be talking about my ultimate favorite products from 2019, as well as the products that I completely hated and I really didn't want to do like a product for every single category because that's just way, that's way too much. I decided to just pick a few categories. I think I have maybe like seven or eight categories to talk about. Looking back on when I was making this list, I realized just how much money I spent on makeup last year. And that's one of my resolutions to really just not, I mean, I'm, obviously I'm still going to spend money on makeup but I just want to be a little bit smarter about my makeup purchases for this year. Really just think things, think, think. I really want to think things through. Really just want to be a little bit smarter about my makeup purchases for this year. So last year I spent way too much on makeup and I decluttered a lot. So please do not come for me when I talk about the products that I just hate it for 2019 like they just didn't work out for me i tried them so many times i tried i tried i tried but they just didn't work before we get into the video if you are new here i make beauty and lifestyle videos every single week so if you like that sort of content then please be sure to subscribe i am going to be doing a giveaway once we hit 300 subscribers so subscribe so you don't miss out on that and there may or may not be a small little giveaway at the end stick around for the whole video i even have an outline so we're gonna kick things off with primer i realized that i bought a lot of primers foundations concealers palettes and lipsticks this year those were like my top five categories of just an overwhelming amount of product i want to say that i it was really hard for me to pick just one primer it was really hard because i really like i really like all of the primers that i have now in my collection i have really decluttered a ton but i want to say that my two favorite ones have to be these for 2019. Um, i have here the smashbox uh, photo finish oil and shine control primer and i also have the artistry exact fit beauty bomb perfecting primer these two primers i have mentioned them before in uh i believe it was in a favorites video i love both of them for different reasons the artistry exact fit primer i really just love because it really just moves out my pores as well as just covers up reduces the redness that i have on my face because i do have rogea Ro Ro is that how you pronounce it but i do have a lot of redness on my face and that's always been an issue of mine ever since i was younger so I really just love how this primer really just covers everything up and just reduces that redness because I have tried a lot of color correcting uh, redness reducing primers but none of them did the trick so this one is really really good this one is just really really good at just controlling your oiliness your shine on your skin it is perfect for anyone who has oily to combination skin so me personally i do have combination skin just really good because i found that i would always just be going in and touching up throughout the day like i could already like feel all of the oiliness just peeking through on my t-zone this has really done a good job at just controlling all that oiliness so this is also a really pricey primer but it is it's a good investment a good investment so i do highly recommend both of these primers and the primers that i don't recommend well i i tried so so many last year but i want to say that the two that i don't recommend it would be the believe beauty primer it came in a blue tube i honestly just did not like that primer i am going to be posting pictures of the products that i don't have anymore like up on the screen just so that you guys know like what they look like i believe and beauty primer i tried it with every single one of the foundations that i have foundation would start to separate and it was kind of like balling up on me so didn't like that primer at all so and i tested it out with every single one of my foundations so 
really like believe beauty believe beauty is a brand that can be found at dollar general everything from them is five dollars and under I talked about them before on my channel and they have a really good foundation i do also like their loose powder their liquid lipsticks are really good a really good brand super affordable so check them out at dollar general but just steer clear of the primer just steer clear for foundation it was also really hard to just <sighs> narrow it down although i love my artistry youth extend foundation i had to pick a different one well i was kind of it was kind of a tie um i want to say that it was a tie between the fenty beauty like the original matte foundation as well as this one this is the juvia's place Bel i am sorry i am magic velvety matte foundation i have used this a ton on my videos i use this so much super comfortable matte foundation to wear it does not feel heavy at all on your skin it's very long wearing very full coverage so if you like that then i highly recommend this foundation i'm almost out of this bottle but i bought this back in june and i use it almost every other day so a little bit of this does go a long way the worst foundation that i tested out this year i want to say it was the anastasia luminous dewy foundation i i ended up returning it the artistry youth extend foundation that one is also like a dewy foundation and it is for normal to dry skin but i could get away with using that one so i thought you know what i'll be able to get away with using the anastasia one but i was wrong i looked like a grease ball <laughs> had disappeared on my nose it had disappeared all under my eyes and it disappeared right here on my forehead it was sinking into like my lines it looked really really greasy really really oily and i just i felt so ugly like i'm already ugly and now i look even uglier I tested it out so many times like i want to say i tested it out still for like another five six times just trying to get it to work it just did not work but every time i see someone that they're using it in a tutorial or something i just cry a little bit because i wish that it could have worked out anyways category um i wanted to talk about powders favorite hands down for this year was the jeffree star cosmetics translucent setting powder and i'm already like halfway through this powder especially love it for baking it just leaves your under eyes looking super smooth really nice the only thing that i don't like about this powder is that it does have like a cotton candy bubble gummy scent that jeffrey claims it's mild i don't think it's mild at all i think that it's very it's a very strong scent so whenever i'm applying it i kind of try not to breathe it in like a really overwhelming scent at times so that's the only thing that i don't like about this powder it does a job does a good job at just setting my makeup like brighten up your under eyes really well and i do really like this foundation this powder is so good a powder that i regret buying this year and I mean it's not bad but it's also not good uh, anastasia loose setting powder in vanilla i bought this alongside the anastasia foundation and although i returned the foundation i didn't return the powder now i didn't return it because when i set my face normally like when i set my whole face normally with this powder it looks very pretty it looks very very pretty i don't look cakey at all it looks really nice but when i bake with it I noticed that when I bake with it, it does a really great job at exaggerating all of my like pores and underneath my eyes. It just looks really dry and cakey. So it does an excellent job at doing that when I bake with it. It's not a good product to go in for baking for me personally. Let me know if you are someone who did try out this powder and if you bake with it let me know if you have that same issue but for me i have that issue I try to really just not go in and bake with this if i do want to bake then i'll go in with my jeffrey powder but it is a shame because this is like this is also like a really expensive powder i don't want anyone to come for me but i do have two products that i really regret and then two products that i just completely fell in love with so i don't know which one to start i hate this thing I hate this thing. This is the Artistry Studio Bangkok Edition Face and Body Shimmer Gel. This is in the color Paradise Shimmer. So honestly, like really excited for this. Um, I had really high expectations for this product, and I think that for the face, it's it's just not it. I think that this product looks really nice on the body. I hate it on the face. I had 
filmed a whole like review tutorial on the collection testing everything out I tested it out like applying it underneath my foundation because I saw someone else on Instagram do that so they looked really nice like their makeup looks super nice their skin looked just super glowy and I wanted that I really wanted that look but I was having a lot of trouble blending it out I don't think it was because of the brush that I was using or the, like I don't think it had anything to do with my brush or sponges because after I went in with artistry brushes I still did the same thing it just did not want to blend out whatsoever it really left like a really weird base for my foundation and I just really didn't like it I was really excited for it I was genuinely excited for this product Every time I see someone use it on Instagram I, I just roll my eyes because honestly like i i really just don't think that it's a good product it's pretty pricey it is really up there so i just don't think it's worth the money and i just i i did not i did not like it did also then try to apply it honestly like i've tested it out so many times and i even like went ahead and applied it you know like on your cheekbones but it it looked pretty when you're like really far away it looks very glowy very pretty but then once you would actually like get up close to me it would make it would kind of like move my foundation away and it just looked like a streak like a really like just like a big streak on my cheekbones and it just would not blend out at all so another makeup product like a highlighter that i really regret buying this year it was the elf highlighting palette ordered it from elf's website directly and it was a ten dollar highlighting palette and it was just very chalky not pigmented whatsoever once i would apply it on my cheekbone like you could honestly like you couldn't see anything my two favorites for 2019 this is the artistry studio illuminating light up compact and brought weight lights and this is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder and blossom glow these were my two favorite most used highlighters for 2019 the artistry studio one this one i use in almost every single one of my artistry tutorials and this is my number one favorite highlighter of all time i just really like that it comes with a mirror this does light up what i really like is that it does come with three highlighting shades i do really like to just mix them together they are very easy to blend out and they just look so so good on the skin i really love the packaging on this like it's a more affordable option it is the wet and wild highlighter this is in blossom glow it's also very easy to blend out and i really like this i always get a lot of compliments whenever i wear this i think that it's just a really good highlighter and these were honestly like my favorite ones for this year hands down the best one for 2019 was the artistry studio nyc edition lash boosting three and one mascara this mascara gives you everything it gives me life it just it's it's amazing i think that this is like my third tube of this mascara this mascara gives you length gives you volume gives you life gives you everything so what i really like about it is that the wand is adjustable so you can turn it here and this short side it is meant to give you volume and then when you adjust it all the way like this it's supposed to give you length and what i really like about the bristles on this is that they do a really good job at just separating your lashes because i mean i've said it before i have the worst lashes ever and mascaras always tend to make them like clumped up and just like the curl does not hold at all so i do have to wear false lashes because i do just have the worst eyelashes in the whole world but i really like this mascara because it does a really good job at just pushing my lashes up making them hold that curl and really just separating them but at the same time adding a lot of volume so i do love this mascara especially love using like the short kind of like when it's like shortened because it does give a lot of volume to my lashes so i do love this mascara one that i really regret buying this year it was the tarte big ego mascara it came in a pink tube i actually got that in a boxy charm it was really really flaky on me i had it all underneath my eyes like it was just everywhere so i really don't like that mascara it was also just very clumpy and the like the curl in my lashes like it wouldn't hold 
and they just kept like they just like drooped down so it was just it was it was horrible last one this one buy it you won't you will not regret it i bought so many palettes last year this is not even funny i am really i really want to limit myself to buying just one palette a month i feel like that's just really gonna make me think my purchase is through i do just really want to buy from now on palettes that are unique palettes that i don't already have in my collection i did test out a lot this year and i want to say that my biggest regrets for this year was buying the ColourPop nine pan palettes i bought orange you glad and main squeeze i was extremely excited for these two palettes i think that color pop honestly color pop really kills it with their products the only things that i don't like from color pop is just your nine pan palettes I feel like the shades don't really blend out that well on my eyes and the colors really look different on your eyelids when they're swatched than how they look in the pan because in the pan so they I mean it could look like a, a like a dark brown but then once it's swatched it's like a light brown so i really just don't like those palettes they were really hard for me to blunt out on my eyes and i felt like i kept getting the same look no matter what shadows i was using so they are monochromatic palettes i do get that but i feel like i just kept getting the same orange look the same pink look we were buying those palettes i really do prefer color pops like their larger palettes i feel like those work much better like the formula the palettes that I feel like were the best ones honestly for this year i couldn't pick just one but i'm gonna give it to anastasia palettes i love anastasia palettes i think that they are pricey but they are very well worth it i'm just more wearable and perfect for like an everyday use and that's what i usually look for in a palette i need that palette to be perfect for day and night i never go anywhere but do also just need to be perfect for like traveling you know they just have to have like everything in just one palette because i personally when i'm getting ready i only grab one palette i don't grab all of my palettes and i'm dipping i like to sit down and just have one palette with me and with that one palette i need to be able to create a look and if i can create a lot of looks from that one palette then that's even better because i'm getting my money's worth i want to say that my most used palette for this year it has to have been the abh soft glam one because I bought this back in April. I bought this as a, per a birthday present to myself. And I actually also took this palette to Dallas and it's just perfect, honestly. It's perfect for an everyday wear. It's perfect if you're going out. These are just very pigmented. They are long wearing. They don't crease on your eyelids. And I just really like them. They are also easy to blend. I forgot that I had one more category. This was actually out of stock for a really long time. I wasn't really worried because I had so many backups of this. But right now, I only have this one. And then I have just one more backup. And then I'll be completely out. So I am glad that the Artistry Studio setting spray is back in stock. And just go get it. It just leaves your, like, your makeup just looking really nice feels very fresh on the skin and it just like sinks into your skin it just melts in doesn't leave a weird cast or anything and it smells really good really fresh like melon maybe i love that setting spray i think i've gone through like three or four of them this year one that i really regret it was the essence setting spray i don't remember what it was called and i have no idea if they still sell this because Whenever I'm at Ulta and I'm in like the essence section, I I don't see it there anymore. And if they don't sell it anymore, I'm really glad because that setting spray sucks. What happened with that setting spray is that I would, you know, set my makeup, and everything looked good. But then once I actually went out, it, it kind of left me like a really weird cast, like a lot of like bubbles, like specks of glitter all over my skin. And it just looked disgusting. It looked horrible. Me veía más fea de lo que ya estoy. I hated it. I hated it. And that, that's, that, that's my best makeup setting spray regret from last year. So, yeah, anyway, that, that that's it for today. <laughs> that is all the products that I wanted to talk about. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I, I feel like it was a hot mess. My whole life is a mess, but 
we're not even gonna get into that right now if you did make it until the end of the video then um giveaway i decided that i kind of wanted to do like a little mini giveaway before doing the 300 subscriber giveaway um but i am gonna be giving away so there is gonna be two winners two winners be giving away two five dollar starbucks gift cards just to kick things off this year a lot of giveaways are coming so subscribe so you don't miss out on that you have to do is just make sure that you are subscribed to this channel be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also just comment below what are some of your resolutions for this year i shared some of mine with you guys now it's your turn so just leave a comment below if you want to follow me on instagram then you can also do that for an extra entry this will this giveaway will be open i want to say for like a week let's let's give it a week winners will be randomly chosen so just be sure to do all those rules decide to follow me on instagram then or if you already do follow me on instagram just leave your instagram handle in your comment and winner will be randomly chosen so there will be two winners well, the winners are going to be contacted here on youtube so I, I will just reply to your comment just keep an eye out for your youtube notifications you know it's something small pero viene del corazón reminder makeup giveaway once we hit 300 subscribers <laughs> thanks so much for watching today's video and just thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video it really means a lot to me and just thank you for your support and just thank you so much thank you so much so yeah um leave any video requests below as well let's chat as always in the comments so yeah thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye